Many times, the conditions and illnesses that we face are rooted in the gut, a lot more so than most people tend to think. Even illnesses such as cancer are primarily influenced by the foods we eat and the amount of food we eat and the frequency of when we eat, the frequency of meals. Mainstream health advice advises us to eat frequently, you know, three meals a day with snacks in between. And their methodology is everything from, you know, curving blood sugar spike or uh, keeping your blood sugar balance and keep your energy levels up and yada yada, eating smaller meals throughout the day so you don't overeat, blah, blah, blah. This is very, very cliche and we hear this crap all the time. Unfortunately, the First of all, the state of science, as far as health is concerned, is pointing elsewhere. Second of all, um, even ancient medicine has known all for a very, very long time uh, not only the importance of um, eating sparingly, but also um, eating lighter in certain situations, and basically the power of fasting. Modern science has shown that fasting has extremely powerful benefits. Um, everything from significantly enhancing your cognitive performance, your intelligence and your mental sharpness, but also fasting has significant benefits for everything from colitis to um, irritable bowel syndrome uh, to even diabetes. Um, fasting has significant benefits on balancing blood sugar. And I happen to actually have a client uh, who, has ha who has been diagnosed with diabetes a long time ago, and he said he used fasting as part of his natural protocol to reversing his diabetes. Um, and he experienced a reversal of diabetes within, uh, I think he said, three weeks. And uh, this is not uncommon. Beyond diabetes and uh, gastrointestinal issues, fasting has benefits for a variety of other conditions. Um, the cognitive benefits are some of the most pronounced, uh, but especially losing fat and losing weight, and uh, also building discipline. A lot of people are addicted to food. A lot of people eat out of habit, and um, you know, Despite what you might want to believe, all of these uh, cynical, crazy people who are like, oh, quackery, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line is, you know, unless you're completely stupid, we have a lot of toxins built up in our body. And when we say toxins, we're talking about foreign invaders. We're talking about everything from pathogens, um, but especially, usually what we're talking about when we talk about toxins is additives artificial additives and chemicals from food and from the environment. When we breathe, we're breathing in uh, hundreds upon thousands of different chemicals uh, that are in the environment, not only produces a byproduct from natural causes, uh, such as uh, even things like mold and rotting uh, fruits and vegetables create um, toxic byproducts into the air and the environment that we breathe, um, but especially now, obviously, it's, you know, 40,000 times uh, more toxic the air is simply because of um, factories and all the smoke and smog and uh, environmental, uh, environmental pollutants caused by industrialism. And so uh, any form of detoxification uh, that we, we can use to help our body remove toxins, okay? Any way that we can enhance our body's natural detoxification, because that's what it is, is very beneficial. Fasting removes the energy spent by the body on digesting food. The body is not wasting energy on digesting food anymore, fasting. And now the body has more fucking energy when you fast to spend on healing parts of the body and removing 
energy and waste that it does not need. Okay, so for example, fat. Okay, scientifically they say fat is simply all of the energy that you've consumed and it's being stored. It's, it's stored energy is what science says. Calories are energy when it comes to science. And um, literally, when you speed up your heart rate, your body literally burns. It literally raises your body temperature, thermogenesis. Okay? Fat burners, they call thermogenics because they boost your metabolism. They speed up your heart rate. They um, boost your body temperature. And you burn more energy when your body is hot. And so, all of that energy in your body is stored calories, stored energy, fat, okay, fat tissue. When, you're, when you say you're fat, it's because you have a lot of energy stored. And so, you got to burn energy somehow. Now, the thing is, when you're fasting, meaning you eat no food at all for a certain period of time, you're not consuming energy. So now, since you're not consuming new energy, the body has to burn off existing energy that it has. And so if you are you have a lot of fat, if you're what you call fat, if you, have, if you have a lot of energy stored, the energy is, you know, your body's storing fat so it's just in case, uh, you know, you, you, you don't eat for a while. Just in case of famine, in case of starvation. So if you don't eat anything, now your body will burn off all of the fat that it's stored, all of the energy it's stored. Because it has to have energy from somewhere, it has to get calories from somewhere to run your everyday life. Okay, And so that's why fasting helps you burn fat. Uh, this is a fact. Okay, So... Beyond all of this, um, when people fast, they often report uh, their vision clears up, like let's say they have myopia or uh, nearsightedness, they're able to actually see much farther. Um, a lot of times myopia can be um, uh, significantly improved or even completely reversed simply by fasting. Okay, Not always, but a lot of times people report this. And beyond that, things like their hairline receding, you can tell I haven't really done extended fasts because of this. I've, I've been fasting, obviously, for a long time. Uh, intermittent fasting, but not long fasts. But people who fast longer periods, like um, 10 to 30 days, this is when they notice the crazy benefits. Like their hairline starts to grow back, crazy enough. Um, their beard starts to uh, get fuller and softer and uh, their skin clears up, psoriasis goes away, uh, their gastrointestinal pro uh, problems go away, obviously. Um, and then of course people have used fasting in addition to other therapies to heal cancer um, and to reverse other diseases, including things like autism and whatnot. Um, and the craziest thing about this is there's there's not a whole lot of side effects as long as you're smart about it. I mean, if you if you feel like you're gonna pa if you pass out or whatever, if you have blood sugar issues, uh, I mean, obviously you have to be smart about it and do your own research and uh, you know take responsibility and do it only uh, to the extent that you feel is safe for you. But um, You, but uh, people report that they still are is just as strong as they were before they started fasting. They don't lose strength, and um, it's interesting because when you are doing strength training or bodybuilding, or if you're an athlete, people are always telling you you got to eat, man, you got to eat, eat big to get big, and you know if you don't, if you stop eating protein, bruh, you're gonna lose all your muscle mass. You got to take BCAAs you know, during your workout or else you're going to start burning your muscle. And, you know, the fact is, the people who say this are, who fucking knows, like, they're, uh, the bing, 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 you, uh, uh, you take your, be your artificially flavored, artificially chemical, uh, artificially colored, motherfucking, artificially sweetened, fucking Kool-Aid, 
right? Your, your overpriced Kool-Aid, BCA supplements, because you think you're going to burn muscle. Like, that should, like, I, I would love to be, like, inspired by that. Like, oh, yeah, you know, it enhances performance, right? I love to ride the placebo effect, but I can't. I'm, I'm just not stupid enough. Like, I can't, I can't allow myself to be tricked by marketing. It, it doesn't work that way. BCAs are fucking stupid. Um, because you don't burn muscle during your, your, your weight training. And uh, the body uses carbohydrate for energy not fucking BCAs. Um, and most BCA supplements are actually fraudulent. But uh, that's beside the point. Anyway, all I'm fucking saying is you're not gonna lose muscle while you fast, okay? <laughs> if you don't lose muscle while, you, while you're fasting for 10 days, what makes you think you're gonna lose muscle overnight, right? You gotta take a casein protein. You gotta take a, a milk protein isolate because uh, it helped, you know, you, that is a slow digesting protein and it'll feed your muscles overnight. Oh my God. The marketing bullshit that they brainwash, it's crazy. Millions of fucking uh, teenagers and adults and fitness people think that all these different proteins and BCA supplements work uh, or, or are necessary or they're gonna make a significant difference. People pay fucking $70 for a week's supply of bullshit. If you can fast for 30 days and not lose muscle and strength, what makes you think that that BCA supplement's gonna do much? What makes you think that that overpriced dextrose or carbohydrate supplement's gonna do much? What makes you fucking think that you need a casein protein every fucking night? You don't. But anyway, um, there are benefits to taking some of these things, but. Uh, as far as losing muscle, they're, they're useless. Uh, people think they're going to lose muscle. Anyway, for health and longevity, intermittent fasting is great. Absolutely great. Fasting for about uh, 18 to 22 hours at a time, that is what's up. Exercising uh, from the la for the last two to four hours before you eat a meal, great. Uh, this is uh, the easiest thing to do, is to, fa is to do intermittent fasting where you're fasting from 18 to 22 hours. That is the easiest fast type of fast you can do. You can do this every single day. Lots of people do it. Big community on that. That's uh, the simple shit, the beginner stuff, right? Uh, then doing a 24-hour fast uh, once a week, four times a month, right? Every, every seven days, you fast 24 hours. Um, this is starting to get you into the longer fasting. Uh, once you feel like that's really easy for you to do, if you're able to fast for 24 hours at a time, start to try to, to, to fast for uh, 32 hours. And keep bump it, pressing the bar. Keep bumping it up until eventually you can fast three days. Try to go, you know, a whole week. Try to go two weeks uh, with no food. And you'd be surprised at not only the results you get, but how long you can go without fucking food. <laughs> Just how fucking retarded it is for these mainstream health people to go, oh, eat, eat, blah, blah. no, 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 no. You don't need to fucking constantly consume, like, even the antioxidant supplements, which, you know, antioxidants I'm a really big fan of. People are always like, oh, I need vitamin C all the time. I need... No, 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 no. Your body can withstand, you know, uh, states of deprivation pretty damn badass. Obviously, you don't want to constantly like starve yourself. I'm definitely not advocating that whatsoever. I am explaining for healthy people who don't have eating disorders, um, fasting is absolutely great. It's been done for you know eons, or you know since the dawn of civil humans, or whatever. Back in the caveman days, it was fucking natural, and then it was a tradition carried on with religion and different cultures and whatnot. I mean, we have Ramadan. Even Christianity um, or Catholics or whatever, um, you know, religions have different fasting, yada yada. Fitness people do it now because they notice it helps them stay lean. Um, and I feel like it's it's one of the best tactics you can lead, tactics you can use to be superhuman. Not to mention, I should have said this at the beginning of the video because I doubt most motherfuckers gonna listen to me ramble on for so fucking long. By the way, I had about four glasses of wine. All right, um, 
So maybe I, I don't know if I'm, I seem different because maybe I had more alcohol. You know, because I love wine now. I drink organic wine. It's badass. Um, I probably don't seem different at all. God damn it. But anyway, maybe I should, I should try to be different, right? No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm authentic, right? Don't try to... Whatever. God damn it. Fasting is great for longevity, okay? There's videos on it. There's lectures on it. There's TED Talks on it. There's articles on it. There's shit tons of science on this shit, okay? Um, fasting increases lifespan. People say, you know, there's there's a lot of shit that says calorie restriction, but you have but calorie restriction is a very deep rabbit hole, very complicated. You can't just have one specific like caloric intake uh, that is restrictive at at one point. It's not going to be restrictive all the way through. You got to continuously restrict calories if you're going to do the calorie restriction crap to to expand your life. That would have to be intervals. Regardless, though, I'm not. I don't give a fuck about calories. I'm talking fasting, boosting your longevity. That's what it's all about. So do your own fucking research and leave your goddamn questions and your motherfucking comments in the fucking comment section because that's what it's for. The comment section is for you to leave your fucking comments. That's why they call it Kilmanjikin. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. I know you're thinking. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel. Or I'll fucking, I'll hit myself over the head with one of my books. Oh shit! Is he gonna? Oh, okay, that was that was uncalled. Okay, I'm I'm fucking done.